Hi, in this video we will go over how to use pandas in Python. Pandas is a package used to deal with uh, data frames. Uh, data frames are spreadsheet like structures where data is stored in columns and rows. So let's get started. We'll go over how to import the pandas library, how to create our own data frames, how to read from an Excel file and import a data frame, then how to export it to a file and then how to use the apply function which is used to compute from various columns and rows. Okay, let's get started. The first thing is how to import pandas. You can use a command called import pandas as pd and you can run this command. Um, if you don't have pandas installed, you'll have to use the command. Uh, you have to go to a command window and type in the following pip install pandas. Okay. So make sure you have the pandas package installed. So once it runs and you load the pandas uh, library, you can use its functions. So to create a data frame, you can just say data frame equal to pd dot data frame. Okay, it's case sensitive, so make sure the D and F are capitalized. Um, if you don't know this exactly, you can just type in D here. And in Jupyter, you can press tab it will show you the list of uh, methods available or functions available inside the pandas library. Okay, so data frame is here. And if in Jupyter uh, notebooks, you can also press shift and tab and it will kind of show you all the requirements or like a small help document for the function. So pd.dataframe, you can specify the following keyword arguments. So let me expand this. You can specify the data, you can specify the index and you can specify the columns. Um, so we'll have a look at it for now. Okay, to create a blank one, just call the function. So this creates a data frame and it stores it in a variable called df. So if you want to preview it, you can just type in df over here. And this is an empty data frame. To add data to it, um, you have to say data equal to. Okay, you create a list within. Uh, you have you create a list of lists. So the list is the entire table and each list within it is each row. So if I say 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 4, this is my first row and this is my second row. Okay, so run the cell and you get tables like this 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, pandas by default gives the columns a name, a number 0, 1 and the row also number 0 and 1. The row, the row labels are called index and the column names are called columns. Okay, so to specify the column names, you just have to type in columns, the, another keyword argument, and you can just give it a list of names. So we can say x, y. If you run this, this is the new names for the columns. And for the rows, these are called index. So you can just say index is a and b. Uh, index equal to. So they specify these as the index. It doesn't have to be letters. You can also have numbers. Um, so one and two, for example. Yeah. Okay. So this is how you can create your own data frames. Now, if you have an Excel file, you can uh, read the Excel file or a CSV file. So let's um, look at a, an example file. So here we have an example file called data.csv and it has four columns and it has um, five rows. Okay, so let's try to import this into pandas. Okay, so um, make sure that the file is available in the same place where you're running your Jupyter notebook. So I have it here data.csv and in pandas you just have to say, um, for example, data equal to pd.read underscore and if you press tab you can see all the different options available through the pandas library okay the one we are looking for right now is the csv file so read csv and then in strings just specify the file name so data.csv okay again this once you run this you will if you want to preview the data you can just type in data and it'll show you the data available so currently i think um yeah i was working on the file so it hasn't updated it here. So I'll have to save this one, save this file. So I removed a couple of rows from here. If you go back and try to read the file again, it should update now. Okay. 
So now you have um, the data shown over here. Okay. Now to save something to file, you can uh, you can do that as well. You can just come down come down here, and if you have a data frame, let's now we have a data frame called data. You can just say data dot to CSV, and then implement the file name. Okay. So for example, result dot CSV. Okay. And if you run this, this will save all this table into a file called result.csv. And if you go back to your page, you can now see you'll have a result.csv file generated over there. And if you open it, you'll get the following file. Um, you can see it has the same information as what we started with in the data file, the result file. But uh, one extra thing it does is it adds the index information automatically into the file okay if you want to prevent this from happening you can always um, make sure you close this file you can go back to pandas and just say index equal to false okay in case you're, you're not really concerned about the index okay and you can run this again and then open the file and you will have this um, file okay now you would like to add new columns here and then do some kind of uh, manipulation on the data okay so for that we need to learn how to use apply function but before we jump into apply function let me show you how to index the uh, values from from the data frame so for example you would like to uh, read the file and you want like specific portion so i want the materials column okay i just need to say data material like this okay then it'll give me the materials column um, add another one yeah and if you if you want to get any of the rows you cannot just type in two here for example this will return an error saying keyword key error which means you cannot find column two anywhere okay there's no column two okay so by default this way of indexing looks for a column okay you want to specify it as a row you have to use the location command or dot lock and then you can use the index uh, number okay so if i run this okay then it will go and fetch the second row or the sorry not the second row the row with the index 2 so which is this one and then you'll get the outputs 23618 yeah 23618 okay if you would like to add a new column entirely, you can do that this way. Uh, you can just say data, for example, let's say I want to add a command called length and I want the values to be one, all one, okay? So you can see it has added this length column into the, into the data frame. Now there are times you want to do some kind of operation. So let's say you want to do length area divided by length um, and you want to add that to a new column can say new column okay pandas allows you to just operate on the columns directly so you can just say data area divided by data length okay and this creates a new column that does the operation that you want so for simple arithmetics you can do this this is a straightforward thing to do um, you but if you have any complex things that you need to carry out you have to use the apply function okay apply function let's have a look at what apply function does so let's look at data again so let's uh, let's use another package called uh, numpy so we can have access to things like mean and sum so import uh, numpy as np and going back to here let's say you have the function called np.mean this one finds given a list, you'll find the average value from that list. Okay. So if you would like to apply this function on your data frame, maybe you want to find the mean of each row or each column, you can do that. You can just say data dot apply this function. Okay. NP dot mean. Now by default, it will return the, it will apply this function to each column, each column and then return it. So it, it's going to give you start. The average of start is two average and end is three so on okay if you meant to do this operation row by row you have to have another keyword argument called axis and axis has to be set to one okay by default it's set to zero you set it to one it will do it row by row now okay if i run it 
So you can see the average of the first row is 5, the next one is 5.16 and so on. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be a built-in function, you can write your own function. Um, for example, you can say define my compute given a row. Okay. And I can then do things like maybe I want to print the entire row out. Okay, line by line. So if I run this. Um, you will get, oh sorry, and to apply this function, you just call your function over here. By default, your function should only have one input, which is handling your row or your column. Okay, so you can just call it here my compute. Okay, so you can now, you see now that it's printing each row. So it prints row number one, start is zero, end is one, so on and so forth. Then it goes to the next row, the next row, the next row. Okay. If you wanted to find the mean of each row, you could have just said np.mean of the row. Okay, so you get this result just like before. Now, why do you use apply command like this? You can create like complex functions. Um, so for example, if you can do if condition, so if mean of the row is greater than, um, I don't know, 5.5, 5.5 then print large okay and maybe else print. okay semicolon okay so you can do complex functions like these now okay to refer to different parts of the row the row itself is contains all this information so maybe you just want to compare the material okay so it's instead of saying for example compare then the mean of the row you want to compare the material so you can just say row material so this will index out this value it will compare it with this number and then print accordingly for each row so maybe let's set this to be 10 run this okay so we'll say like too large okay too large too large too large so you can do complex things like these using the apply uh, function now you can see this is also showing this none this is because your function is computing it and printing it on screen it's not actually storing anything for example if you wanted to put this back into this uh, data frame you can just say data of um, what do you call new result for example equal to so whatever this compute this apply function is finding it can put those things into your data frame and you can do it this way and if you look at your data frame now you will see it has added a new results column but everything is none okay because your function is only printing it it's not actually returning anything so instead of printing you could have said uh, message equal to too large message equal to okay and then instead of printing you say return message okay now you can see um, the message is now shown inside your data frame okay so this is how to use the apply method um, and this is how to make use of pandas functions so hope this helps